Hi, I'm Isabella Garden, I'm Head Day Girl. I'm going to be talking to you about the day house system and lower school life, as well as some activities we have here at Cranbrook. There are four day houses, including Horsley, Webster, Allen and newly created links. Students from year 9 to year 13 are allocated to these houses, so that they include a range of ages and a mixture of both girls and boys. Within the houses, we have a tutor for each year group who works with the head of house in sharing the responsibility for the welfare, well-being, safety and progress of all students in the house. We meet up with our tutor group almost every day at house time. I'm in Horsley, where each tutor group consists of one year group only. We spend our time doing quizzes, getting to know each other. An important activity for us is cake day, where two people bring cake for the rest of the tutor group. Some tutor groups, like Lynx, have vertical tutor groups, which include a mixture of all the years within the house. House time is a time in which we can get to know people we might not have necessarily done before and allows us to voice any concerns or worries to our tutor. We also have Sellers House for Year 7s and Year 8s. Additionally, each house has their own social events. Sellers, for example, has their own movie night. We also have many house sporting events, including house hockey, netball and badminton, to name a few. Lower school life starts for some at Year 7, but for others at Year 9. Many activities are offered to both years to encourage them to become integrated within other year groups and to get to know more people, additionally allowing them to find new passions. Eco Schools is one of the clubs available, which I attend myself, where we talk about environmental issues both around the world and at school. We then think of ways to combat these. Amnesty is another popular club where we discuss human rights issues around the world and use our voices to change them through letters, petitions and discussions. Both of these are a good way for younger and older years to get to know each other and help not only school issues, but world issues too. Hi everyone, I'm Will and I'm the head day boy here at Cranbrook. I joined Cranbrook in year nine and throughout my time at the school, I found that not only does it encourage academic success, but it's the extracurricular activities and the clubs that allow students to discover passions that they would otherwise not have done so. Most of our clubs are student led by passionate sick farmers. The CCF, the Combined Cadet Force, is the biggest club in the school. It allows cadets to develop their leadership, teamwork and confidence through outdoor activities. Within the CCF, we go on two week-long trips a year, one at Easter and one at summer, where, where cadets will do shooting, mountain biking, climbing, blank fire exercises and much more. We've even had three cadets be selected and go on courses in Canada. Not only does the school have clubs like CCF and DAV, but also other clubs like debating. Debating allows students to learn about and discuss issues, but also develop their confidence in speaking. We've even managed to keep this going throughout lockdown. Cranbrook also has a student newspaper, where anyone can submit articles about anything they're pa passionate about. For this reason, we've had everything from TikTok to Donald Trump. But more recently, how to take care of your mental health during lockdown, movie reviews and a short story. There's a club for everyone at Cranbrook, such as badminton, conspiracy theory, football, orchestra, and we've even got a dissecting club. Clubs are a key part of the Cranbrook community and allow students from all over to come together. Hi, my name's Abby and I'm boarding head girl at Cranbrook. I joined Cranbrook in year nine, in part because of the activities offered to students. For me, Duke of Edinburgh, bronze, silver and hopefully next year gold has been a fantastic experience, which really involved me in a lot of different areas of school life. This was particularly good for me in year nine as when I first joined, I didn't know anyone. So the expedition and volunteering components of the award gave me a great opportunity to make friends. Cranbrook has also given me a chance to flourish academically and do things that I would never have dreamt of five years ago. The support network of teachers, tutors and heads of houses provides a fantastic foundation for learning meaning that as a student, it's very easy to get help if you need it with any of your subjects or other problems that you could be having in or outside of school. I have always found teachers to be very responsive and helpful when I went to them, either if I was finding a specific topic hard or if I wanted additional work to further my understanding of a lesson. Even now in these remarkably unusual times, the Cranbrook community within boarding and as a whole is functioning well, with many clubs and societies and events still being run thanks to dedicated students and staff. I cannot wait to get back to school and to my boarding house and to my friends. 
the unique diversity of international, national and local students creates an atmosphere in each house which is impossible to replicate. It means that you talk and live and make friends with people you might otherwise never have spoken to. And to me, that is the best part of Cranbrook. Hi, I'm Max, and I joined Cranbrook School in Year 9 and was in the boarding house that all the new Year 9 boys start in School Lodge. I'd never boarded before and was very nervous. I, it was a completely new experience, and I didn't know anyone else before joining. However, it was one of the best decisions I had ever made and really boosted my experience at Cranbrook. Boarding allowed me to get more involved with the activities that Cranbrook had to offer and gain more academic support when I needed it. There were also loads of events hosted by the day and boarding community, such as our annual Cornwallis Panto, Where Will You Like Day, the Halls the Arcade, and the Webster Cake Sales, all organised by the student body, where all proceeds go to charity. Before coming to Cranbrook, I had never been actively involved in sports. However, after consistent badgering from my housemaster, I decided to give rugby and basketball a try. Although it was a long road and there were many cold early Saturday mornings, I don't regret a thing and have thoroughly enjoyed playing some thrilling rugby and basketball games. This year I have made my debut for the first Rugby 15 and have been made basketball captain since year 11. I've met many of my friends through boarding and sport and I'm delighted I've gone out of my way to get involved in life at Cranbrook outside of the classroom. The friends I've made and the experiences I've enjoyed will last a lifetime. I'm very pleased to be able to share with you some, some student experiences um, uh, from a range of uh, uh, um, individuals at, at Cranbrook School. We have Josh, who's in year seven. We have Bella in year eight. And we have Alanis, who's in year nine. Um, Alanis is also a boarder. Uh, all three are very keen to share with you their, their experiences and, and, and hopes for the future. Uh, so at this point, I'm going to turn my attention uh, to Alanis, um, who will be keen uh, to share her story. Hi, my name is Alanis Nadir. I'm currently in Year 9 and have been a boarder at Cranbrook School for nearly a whole year. Whilst at my previous school in London, my parents and I were recommended Cranbrook last year, and after a bit of research, we later discovered the secure and organised learning environment provided by this school, which was what I needed, and soon after, my parents were eager to enrol me. I wanted to board because although living away from home can pose its challenges, boarding has helped me gain a greater sense of responsibility and independence that will help me beyond my years at this school, giving me a sense of punctuality and discipline since we are supposed to maintain an appointed schedule as well as a personal timetable where we're supposed to make decisions on how we spend our time. Boarding is like a big family. It's a diverse setting that promotes common experience, friendship, honesty and trust between both the staff and the students. Boarders get to enjoy so much from weekend trips, dean dinner nights, extra support from on-duty teachers both at prep and throughout the day, whole boarding movie nights, etc. To even little things like having access to the school gym after school and after prep, a common area where boarders from all years can socialise and get snacks, and even living on school campus is a bonus. Last term, I played netball for the first time and I grew to love the sport. My netball coach really encouraged me to play the sport from and from there. I was really determined to make the A-team, which I did in the end, and I was super proud of myself. As well as enjoying sport, I really loved drama lessons. It was a place where I wasn't afraid of being myself or portraying different characters. As I move up to year 10, something I'm looking forward to is meeting the new year nines in my boarding house, as well as focusing on subjects I love and may need extra support in. I'm a bit nervous to be starting my GCSE courses, but it's a new and exciting time in my life which is only the start of a successful future. Beyond Cranbrook, I'm thinking of going to fashion school in Paris or London, pursuing a job as a model or fashion designer, taking after my mum and sister, or maybe something on the business side of things like real estate or law. But these coming years, I'm really hoping to discover what my passion is. So why should you or your child consider Cranbrook, you may be asking yourself? Well, apart from independence, respect, high standards in learning and a sense of discipline, Cranbrook is guaranteed to offer academic excellence and character development. Thank you very much, Alanis. A, a very thorough uh, appraisal of your, your skill set and, and aspirations as well. Uh, thank you. Um, at this point, I'm going to turn uh, our attention to, uh, to Bella. Uh, Bella, who is our, our representative of, of Year 8. 
Um, hi, I'm Bella Ennis. I'm in year eight. Um, I came from a really small village school, and uh, like everyone, like coming here, I was um, quite nervous, especially about meeting new people because um, I didn't have any familiar faces. Um, but I shouldn't have worried about that because soon I realised that everyone was in the same boat, and that was one of the reasons we all got on so well. And Cranbrook as a school uh, was really supportive and welcoming, welcoming into our transition. Um, Cranbrook has a really wide range, really wide range of opportunities, and we can travel to different places um, and sometimes different countries as well as park school trips. Early this year, me and my class went on a trip to a nature reserve. And we looked at plants and animals and their ways of life in the most natural manner we could and learnt things you wouldn't just learn by looking at them. We also looked at a seed bank where they held some of the rarest and largest seeds in the world, which you just wouldn't see every day. And that opportunity wouldn't have come my way if it weren't for Cranbrook. Uh, something at school I really enjoy is the music and art department in the Performing Arts Centre. There's six music rooms in which mu music lessons take place and anyone can go in at break and lunch and practice music related talents. Uh, one of my favourite subjects is art, and the art department is really well equipped. And when you work hard in a subject, it's appreciated and noticed, which makes you feel really like really good about yourself. And you get rewarded with merits, which can lead to things like early lunch passes and merit awards. Uh, next year, I'm looking forward uh, to returning to school as a year nine, especially after the difficult times we've had now not being at school and getting back into the flow of flow of school and taking part in more extra extracurricular activities. I've never doubted that Cranbrook is the right school for me and I'm proud to call myself a Cranbrook student when someone asks. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bella. And again, I, I really appreciate your, your, your personal uh, sentiments and words there. Um, so thank you, Bella. Um, last but not least, I'm, I'm turning uh, our attention to, uh, to Josh. Hello, my name is Josh and I'm in Year 7, which is a part of Sellers House. Before I came to Cranbrook School, I was at Dulwich Prep Cranbrook. The reason I wanted to come to Cranbrook School is because of all the great sport and academic achievements you can accomplish here. Sellers House is for years seven and eight, and we are a kind and caring community, sharing buildings, activities and sporting events, such as cross country and through tech, to name a few. The support within the school is excellent. We have our form tutors, as well as our house, our house, our head of house to talk to anytime. There's also a place to be with trained counsellors open to anyone. Since the beginning of year seven, I have taken part in chess club, football club, cricket club, hockey club, rugby club, basketball club, house representative and eco club, just to name some of the few clubs which we have here. When I move up into year eight and beyond, I look forward to Duke of Edinburgh awards, combined cadet force and overseas sporting trips. Moving around the school might seem a bit daunting in the first few weeks, but the map in your planner will help you learn your way around quickly if you come to the school. My advice to those moving up to secondary school is that the move to secondary school might seem scary, but in reality it's fun, enjoyable and thrilling. To finish, I would like to say that I'm happy to be a part of this amazing and beautiful 500-year-old school. Thank you, Josh. Uh, some very wise words there, particularly for our, our, our new intake coming into us uh, uh, from year six into seven next time around. And, uh, also, I, I know you're not necessarily going to blow your own trumpet, but uh, I know you're very proud of your, your captaincy of the year seven rugby uh, side as well. So well done. Uh, so with that, I, I conclude the uh, uh, conversation uh, here from our, our, our three representatives and, um, and, uh, and uh, pass on to the next segment of this presentation.